Hello Libra, my name is Agatha and this is your tarot predictions for the month for the month of March 2018. This is a very general uh, read, reading if you like a personal consultation. Please write to tuniazada.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. This month I'm going to use the Fantastical Creatures Tarot by Lisa Hunt and DJ Conway. And I'm going to use also the Soul Cards number 2 by Deborah um, Koff-Chapin. And lastly I'm going to use the Messenger Oracle and I'm going to take a card I just took a card from this uh, this oracle and by the the, the 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 author of this oracle is Ravin Filan and um, this will be a general um, advice for the month of March 2018 I'm going to start with the oracle card and the card that came out for you I'm going to have to hide it I'm going to read from the little book okay it was the Embrace of Feminine, and I have to hide certain things because YouTube is going mental, okay, lately. And, by the way, uh, it's, uh, to me, Embrace the Feminine, this is card number 10, and this is the general advice for you, Libra, for the month of... It's interesting, there's a lot of female... I took the cards out already. There's a lot of feminine... Feminine? Feminine energy for you, Libra, which is interesting for this month. And, um, yeah, let's start. Uh, to me, this, this card really appears to be the Empress. Uh, you don't have the Empress card, but there's a lot of women in your, uh, in your reading. So, what is the advice for you, Libra, for the month of uh, March 2018? Embrace the feminine. Within ourselves, uh, there are two aspects to our nature, the feminine and the masculine. Here in the present, you need to embrace the feminine aspect of your nature and let it guide your steps. Now is the time to be nurturing, creative and to connect with nature, home and heart. Listen to your intuition and emotions. Be receptive and compassionate. But remember, whilst you allow your feminine self to be dominant, you need to temper your gentleness with a fire that denies all meekness. So this is um, your general advice. And just because you're all embracing the feminine doesn't mean you're weak. Quite the contrary. So let's begin. This is going to be beginning, middle and end of the month. And doesn't matter when it happens. It could be uh, whatever message that I'm giving you in the beginning of the month could you know, manifest in your life at the end of the month. So... Uh, the first card that came out for you was the Temperance card. And in this deck, uh, it the figure that appears, it's the Lady of the Lake in the Celtic tradition. And apparently she has psychic powers and, you know, uh, uh, she, yeah, she's, you know, a goddess. Um, usually this card uh, speaks of, you know, being in harmony uh, do things in a moderate sort of way, slowly, rest, you know, maybe some of you uh, who are w uh, watching this video, maybe you need to relax, stop stressing out, or maybe you're ill, maybe there's, you know, maybe you had the flu, or I know, I know this is for March, you know, but maybe you're uh, under the weather, and now you're still re recuperating, also this speaks of doing things slowly, with harmony, with patience, also, and the clarification card that you got was this one. To me, it's a guy. It's a guy or a woman. Doesn't matter. It's a, a person holding an egg, and the egg is the beginning of something. So you're resting because you want to to give birth to something. But it's like in the initial stages of of that thing which is about to be born. Also, I told you that the the embrace the feminine card to me it's really similar to the empress. In, uh, in tarot decks and the empress one of the meanings has to do with fertility you know there's the egg fertility so some of you might actually be pregnant you know you need to rest or you're about to be, be, be pregnant or something like that or you're going to be a parent or you just discovered you're going to be a parent and uh, others it's something which you are thinking of something which is being contained and protected because it's about to be born it's in the initial stages a creative endeavor a business whatever but you need to take it slowly and uh, in a moderate sort of way okay in the middle of the month 
you have the nine of pentacles and in this uh, deck uh, the figure who is depicted here is Lilith Lilith doesn't have a very nice reputation but she is depicted here in the beginning the way she was seen in the beginning um, before she turned into you know a succubus and a killer of children uh, you know so uh, the nine, the nine of pentacles is uh, a um, independent card is the, the independence card so Lilith is very independent she would not submit to Adam and I'm gonna read from the little book I'm sorry because I don't know this by heart and this is a new deck to me and what is where is the nine of pentacles so I'm gonna read from it Lyra and uh, she Lilith began as a benevolent deity Deity, deity, the goddess, a aiding childbirth. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I've read somewhere that you ask Lilith to help you uh, protect your kid or something like that. Uh, Lilith's true character is revealed by the image on this card. An aspect of the great mother goddess, she is connected with the moon, the cycles of life, and the owl wisdom and initiation and on top of her there's the owl so she's an independent sort of person and in the middle of the month you're going to be kind of like this um, i just thought that maybe some of you those who are seeing this video you might be connected with childbirth of some kind because of this card and because of the temperance card which is also connected with uh, healing therefore medical profession so maybe you just got your nurses degree or something like that or you got a space or you are studying in a spe specialization that is connected with childbirth or kids or children something like that and that will allow you to be fairly independent even in money wise or you or it's something that you can do out of your house it's a business where you aid women and mothers young mothers or women want to become mothers something like this you know some of you might have some sort of business connected with children young children or young mothers you know or any type of business which started out like in the beginning of the month uh you were still like in the in the i would say late stages of making it grow and now in the middle of the month I think it might have flourished this this business whatever it is and this is a clarification card this is a person standing uh, to me uh, confident uh, with himself or herself so this is both cards speak of independence speak of trusting everything trusting yourself trusting the process and trusting yourself And then at the end of the month, uh, Libra, the card that came out for you was the Six of Cups. Now, the, 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 the figure depicted here is Yamanja, who is a goddess, an African goddess. Yes, that was brought to South America. I know Brazil is big, <laughs> really likes Yamanja, uh, with the slaves. So, she, the origin is connected with Africa. I'm going to read, because again, I don't know this by heart. I'm sorry, I apologize. So, Yamanja. And as a goddess of the ocean and the daughter of Odudua, Odudua, the earth goddess Yamanja, here it's written Yamaya, Yamaya, but I know it's Yamanja. In, in Brazil it's how it's said. Holds a high position of respect. Uh, she is the mother of 14 other gods and goddesses. 14. The temperance card is number 14. Interesting. Of the sacred Santeria, Santeria Pantheon. She is associated with the ocean and also birth. Birth. There's this, there's this theme of birthing something or birth or children. A Six of Cups is one, a card connected with children, also. Women petition her when they want to conceive children. 
She is really powerful and beautiful. Interesting, because Lilith is also connected with children, with childbirth. Some of you are getting pregnant this month, and I really hope, in, and you really want to, and it would be easier for you to get pre pregnant if you embrace uh, the feminine aspect of you. If you're a guy and you're trying, like your wife, or you're trying to help your wife or girlfriend to, to get pregnant, the same thing, you can embrace the feminine, and therefore you can help your spouse or girlfriend or partner to get pregnant, to conceive. What is the... Um, Clarification card, it's a, a little boy. This is a clarification card. So there's something connected with children. Could be that. Another way of reading uh, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is connected with positive memories from, from when you were a kid. You know, or there's someone from your past and that person is showing up again. This could be a friend from your past, from your childhood. Or even uh, someone you liked, who, someone who, whom you loved very much from your past, and you might be reconnecting with this person at the end of the month. I think it's a very positive month, okay? Very feminine also. And that's it, Libra. This is the reading that I have for you for March 2018. Uh, this is a very general reading. If you'd like a personal consultation, please write to dunyazada.gmail.com, and I'd be delighted to work with you.